What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And today we're going to be going ahead and checking out yet another legendary hat. Of course, you guys might know this is the second time we've ever shown off a legendary hat in the series. The first time being Noodle Nester, but this time we're going to go ahead and show off a Imp legendary hat, which will be, as you can see here, the epic disco bot. Now, this thing is actually pretty cool. When you vanquish somebody, a cool little disco ball will come out from the top of it. It'll be like a little dance party. So we're gonna be applying this to every imp and enjoying it with most of them. I don't know if we plan on playing every single one of them, but some of the ones I really need levels for, such as maybe the Skywag imp, probably the little Drake, since we're almost at master for him. I would play Shrimp imp, but I got him max. So basically, Pylon imp, little Drake, and maybe party imp too. So yeah, that should be a pretty good mix. Let me go and apply, apply it to this guy as well. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead into a few games, show off the hat, what it does when you get a vanquish, and have some fun with it. All right then, so this was actually the map I was hoping to get. Hopefully the plants are going to go ahead and push it to the disco area, that way we can of course get our disco effect going on while we're in a disco area, because that just sounds like a cool combo to me, I don't know about you. But of course guys, if you want a specific legendary hat to be shown off, that I've yet to show off, then you can feel free to let me know in the comment section, because I've been trying to just sort of base it off your request. A lot of people were asking for some imp legendary hats to be shown off. This is the only one I have, but you can see the effect here. It does also play a little bit of music. I think it's actually the same music that's played when we're at the disco area. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong with that, but it's hard to exactly tell. Because there's just so many different little music pieces like that in the game at this point with all the legendary characters and everything. Yeah, let's get you if I can. Ooh, oh, double chomper, double fire chomper. That is interesting. <laughs> but there we go, we're starting off pretty well. Oh well, that that's that's changing. Never mind. <laughs> we started off pretty well with a two times vanquish streak. I do also want to say that I might be taking like a break from the Feast of His stuff. I might honestly be done with the Feast of His for this year, unless they release a Feast of His pack. I mean, this should be going up on January 1st, but it's recorded the day before, so, you know, you know, December 31st. So, I'm trying to find out, like, you know, if there will be a Feast of His pack. If there will be a Feast of His pack, we'll definitely be making a video on that. But beyond that, like, I am definitely, like, all burnt out on Feast of His, so I might just sort of take a break. For, for a little bit, maybe we'll do some more next year, or maybe, you know, throughout January if you guys really, really want it, but from what I've seen from the comments and all that kind of stuff, it seems like you guys want to take a little break from it too, which is totally cool. So I think that's what we plan on doing, and just doing stuff like this, I've been trying on the side to play some Infinity Time to earn up the uh, two party characters we need, and of course eventually do some spending sprees so we can get whatever legendaries we're missing. Just that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's get you, Ooh, we're doing pretty decent right now, I gotta say. Like this is some well needed, um, oh, what a boom. This is some well needed experience for my imp. Okay, let's get out of here real quick. That couldn't have been any later. That like seriously couldn't have been. Let's get you as much as I can. I gotcha, time six vanquish streak. I like that. My hat is going wild because of it. This hat is so cool though. Like it's, I think it's one of the earlier legendaries I got. The very first legendary hat I got was the ladybug hat for the, uh, the cactus, so I don't know when we're gonna show that off. I figured maybe we could either go by your suggestions or maybe do it in order of the classes, so like if you're on the zombie side, the imp is the very first one to show up, so like that's why I sort of picked this one also because a few of you requested it, so like a little bit of combo of everything. It really depends, like if you guys wanna see every single legendary hat, I don't have all of them, but I can show off the ones that I do have, which is quite a lot at this point. Like of course I have, you know, the one we're using right now, I have, one for the super, like we have at least like one per class and then a few for several classes like, you know, like for the kernel corn, we had the noodle nester one I showed off, but we also have the ice cream one and then also the cuckoo clock one. So like just like three legendary hats for one class right there. So it can be pretty crazy how many legendary hats you can get in the game at this point, like quite a lot. So hopefully we can keep doing that, keep getting them. I think we have almost every base legendary hat that, you know, was there at the beginning of the game. Because there have been quite a few that were added through the DLC updates, so I'm sort of thinking, like, do we have every base legendary hat? And I think almost all of them. Like, we de like this is a base legendary hat for the imp. Um, definitely for the cat, the dead beard. It's the, it's the shark thing. And then for the super brains, it's the cat on the head. I'm pretty sure that's a base one. And then for, like, the soldier, it's the bat hat. It's, uh, what is it for the engineer? The engineer, it's the mole hat. I remember that one. And then the scientist has the Rubik's Cube hat. Oh yeah, 
It's like now that I think about it, I'm remembering them. It's just, it's like I haven't used them too much. I definitely want to, you know, put videos on them. I feel like that'll be a lot of fun. So that's why we're doing it. I mean, so far I'm having a good time because I get to replay classes I really enjoy. I get some easy experience for classes I really need it for. Our Z Mech is ready so I can call it in. No! That was bad timing. Oh well. But, uh, what else? Uh, any other character on the zombie side? I'm forgetting. I don't think so. So the, for the base plants, I definitely have the cactus one. The pea shooter one is the fireworks one. The sunflower one is uh, Lord Cinderbottom's nephew. The chomper one. Oh, what is it? Ch the chomper one is the turtle. I remember that. So the chomper one's the turtle. I think the only base one I don't have then, because we got the rose koala and we, like I said, we got the ice cream kernel corn one. So the only one we don't have then would have to be the the Citron RGB cats, which we do not have right now. Hopefully we can get that soon then, because that's actually a really cool hat that's, I guess the only base legendary hat we don't have. Now, of course, like I said, there's been quite a few legendary hats added since then, so I'm not completely out of legendaries after that, but of course, the more we do spending sprees, the more, you know, Rux comes on by to visit, all that kind of cool stuff will be happening. Now, I can't check it right now, because like I said, this is actually be being recorded on December 31st, but, uh, come January 1st, there'll be a new schedule on the official Gun of Warfare 2 website. So we can actually go ahead and check that out and see what cool stuff might be coming to Gun of Warfare 2 in January. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully we see at least one Rux visit. You know, like that's sort of a big thing for me. I hope throughout 2017, we get at least one Rux visit every single month. In November, we actually had two. We had the scheduled Rux visit and then there was a surprise one on Thanksgiving Day where he had like a whole bunch of legendaries, which is the first time that has happened. So hopefully we can keep up with a minimum of one a week, if not a couple every once in a while. All right, so once we hit level five as this imp, I think I'll switch over to like the party imp. That's sort of who I'm in the mood to play next. But even that and the Pinon imp are a lot of fun. I do have to say, I like the Scallywag imp, but he's probably my least favorite imp right now. Not because he's bad, like I said, he's a very good imp. I just don't play with him very well. So it's just like not always the best experience for me. Come on, can we get you guys? Ooh. We're doing great with getting them vanquishes out. Like, overall. <laughs> right now I'm about to get my butt beat up. But we're tied for top vanquisher, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and respawn now. And let's try to get level five. Oh, we're at the perfect spot. Is it the same music? No, it's definitely different. I like it. <laughs> I love it so much, it's super cool. Or the disco hat with, or we had the disco hat in the disco area, perfect fit. I was really hoping we'd get this map and we did, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try to get across to here and try to sneak up on this kernel corner who just keeps running. He won't stop running. I just got an assist and I said, oh, that's a pea shooter. I honestly thought that was a spawnable weed. That was really weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was just really weird looking. Let's try to get you here and then pull up my Z-Mac, pull up my Z-Mac. Hey guys, Z-Mac's coming in or not. He, he bought up the phone and everything and they just decided against it. But we're discoing it up at the disco area. All right. There is a Citron over here as well as a Chomper. They're sort of skedaddling though, for whatever reason. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to hit the wall. Okay, this is not productive. I need to go this way. Okay, he missed his Shuck shot though, which is good. Here comes that pea shooter again. That is so weird look. I don't know why, but it just looks weird to me. It's not bad, it's just weird. Okay, this is not good. Oh boy. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me here. Hey guys, here, catch this and then bada boom. Oh man, it didn't actually do much damage to him. That was weird. Usually if you're that close to the mech when it explodes, it's just like a guaranteed vanquish. But not really the case, Aaron. Huh, weird. <laughs> All three of these guys got danced. I love that, like, it's the chopper sort of looked like he did. He jumped in on purpose to join the fun. But the other two, it looked like a mistake. So that's actually pretty cool. Just like when that kind of coincidence happens. Like a bunch of them get caught in it. I didn't get much done there. So in this life, we're probably gonna hit level five. So we will, you know, switch to the, uh, what's it called, the party imp after this. And I really do wanna play the pile on him too. But they're both good. I can't, you can't make me choose, they're too good. They're both amazing. Oh, we got a health upgrade, which is good. We might wanna apply that soon. Ooh, come on, get you, get you. All right, I almost got you. You're almost going down, you're almost going down. Oh, gotcha, chased him down. No, 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 too many chompers, 
too many chompers. I'm like not used to this game right now because I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently. So I've been like used to that game's controls a little bit more. But when you think about it, <laughs> the Imp is a lot similar to one of my favorite Overwatch heroes, D.Va, because she rides in a mech and then her ultimate is to explode the mech just like the Imp. So <laughs> it's honestly not incredibly different. I mean, the game is so, I mean, it's similar in concept, but si different in gameplay, so you get what I mean. But there you go, we finally lost our life there, and we have 25 anchors. That's a really great start to this episode. Okay, so it disconnected me, but it <laughs> looks like I joined Zimbopolis again, so you know what? Am I gonna complain? Absolutely not, but let's go ahead and mute people before I forget later. And I'm gonna sneak up here. Ooh, look at this sneaky mode activated. And of course, we're gonna do more damage once we're closer to him. But there you go, there's our first vanquish with the party imp. And ooh, I can sneak up on you too, ready? Catch that, destroy it like this, and we are good. Or not, are you still around? You are, ooh, a strong one. We got you still though. <laughs> All right, let me try to re revive my Imp Pal here before they notice me. No, Imp Pal is gonna revive you, and then we could have taken on the Citron. We could have taken on the entire world. No, and he still got me. Okay, maybe I'm just bad at the game. That, that is probably what's going on. Probably shouldn't one v one a Citron and just stand there. It's probably a bad idea. Let me see if I have any upgrades for this character. Actually, probably either you know like th th they might not be too good. Okay, so I already had them applied. That's good to know. Because honestly, I haven't had too much of a chance to play this character when I really should be. Because <laughs> it's not a bad character. Excuse me, trying to spawn in my mech. There we go, coming on in with this now. Oh, you're going down. You're going down. Nice. I think me and that other imp chained up our gravity grenades. So, like, after mine ended, he set up his. Ooh, hi. There you are again. Sorry, Sun Pharaoh. I keep doing that to you. But I'm going to keep doing it to you because it's my job. We're doing really good right now. We're doing really, really nice. I love this mech. I mean, it's. I don't think it's any different from the base imp mech. I think it's exactly the same. But you know what? Sometimes that's what makes it so good, because there's five vanquishes. Unfortunately, I don't think they'll be going to my party time, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth a try. We'll find out once this is over. Ooh, gotcha. That was good. I don't see any plants behind me, but there is you again. I just got this dude, and I got him again. There's another vanquish for us. Ooh, try to get you as much as I can. Yeah, none of that actually contributed to my party time. I'm not surprised though, because I already sort of knew that. I just forgot if that was the case or not. Okay, you're running away. Fine then, I'm gonna chase you back down. Oh geez, there's plants everywhere. I'm gonna go for the sunflower, because she can turn around on me not as easily, so. Go for her first, that way she's also not healing anybody up, but that's a good start, 10 vanquishes right away. I could really use that with the, you know, the party imp here, so I will take it. It is good that there is finally an imp that is a legendary character and that is not a party class, so it's like, it feels like sometimes the legendaries for the party class is like, they're legendaries, but they don't really count as legendaries because you don't get them the typical way you would get a legendary item. What are you, oh, you're trying to, you're trying to revive that, so I see what you're trying to do there. I ain't letting it happen, I'm sorry. This ain't happening. Not while I'm on board. Let's try to sneak up on you, you don't see me. And of course, we need to get close with you to actually do any good damage to you, but that's sometimes a big risk. And now everybody comes on in to save the day, huh? Yeah, you're all heroes now. <laughs> but hey, the, the favor's being returned. I'm being revived, no, come on! The favor really was returned. I, I ruined that Citron's revive, so a Citron ruined mine. That was funny. I love that. I was like right there, and then that Citron just like slam dunks it out of the, that guy's hand, basically. Like it's a basketball game. All right, uh, where is this? It is up there. I don't want it to be around there, so I'm trying to get it out of here. Don't know how successful I'm being. Not really too successful at all. So I'm gonna try to back it up. Also, I do plan on putting out a few more episodes of God of War for one Road to Rank, th Road to Rank three on three soon. I haven't been able to keep up with the episodes just because I didn't want to make another episode in it until I reached rank 150, but I've been having a hard time with that, so hopefully soon. Chances are I might actually end up buying some coins in Guard of War for One to help my, me along with that, just because it's like, I only have so much time in the world, you know? And we have to get it done by like late February? Or it might even be early February, I'm not even sure. The record still stands though that I've never purchased coins with real money here in Garden Warfare 2. And I don't plan on ever changing that because that's sort of the thing is that PS4 got Garden Warfare 1 late and then I didn't really get into Garden Warfare 1 until Garden Warfare 2 was, you know, 
announced. Like, I had, you know, I played God of War for one on the channel on PS4 since it released on PS4, but I didn't get super duper into the game until God of War for two was announced uh, in 2015. Yeah, I think it was 20, yeah, it was 2015, geez. <laughs> but, um, with that being said, that's why it's like I was so far behind on rank 313, and then I never really valued getting rank 313 because I didn't think there was gonna be a bonus for it, and then they announced that there would be, so I'm like, oh darn, and it's just like, it's taking me so long to get to it, but now I'm like finally making momentum. When I sit down for a few hours and really work at it, it's not that hard to get four or five ranks, it's just I don't always have a few hours. And there we go, we actually won that round. That was pretty nice, I like that. So let's move on over now to the Pylon Imp. And where is the legendary hat? It is right here. It is the epic disco bot. There we go. <laughs> so I like the pylon imp a lot. It's just, I just, once again, another class I just need to find more time to play. It just, it's just sort of like a 50 50 with these kind of classes. Sometimes I do really great and we get the top angle like we did that last round. And in some rounds, I just. I just walk around, I get maybe like one or two vanquishes if I'm lucky. I'm always so like that with multiplayer games. Either I have games where I absolutely destroy everybody, or I just sort of run around not doing so hot. It's just how it works for me for whatever reason. Okay, let's damage you up as much as I can. Like I usually never do too much in the middle. There we go. She was trying to throw down our potato mines because she thought I was chasing her, but that wasn't quite the case now, was it? A lot of these guys just aren't noticing me, which is, whoa, okay, you are, but that's it. <laughs> the robot is. There we go, there's times three now. Good start, good start. Now they're starting to piece it together. I gotta get on out of here and, and ooh, get it here, get it here. And then just start destroying you as much as I can. 30 damage, it pops pretty good. There we go, times four. It's gonna keep backing up because my mech is now available. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> These people are just, they're standing right in front of me. They don't even realize it. So I'm gonna pull out the big guns here and just try to go for this right here. Ooh. I don't know how well I'm doing here because there's people all over the place right now. Rose, why are there all fire damage? I don't want fire damage right now. Come on. Oh, I got you a little bit before you went into your thing. Okay, this is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of this as soon as I possibly can. And then just, yep, back it up. That did some damage to some people, but it looked like it mostly just did one damage. So that's not all that much at all. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, one damage really isn't too much. Come on, come on. Come on, ah, oh, I almost got you. You were stunned there, so I should've just kept going in. I might have been able to get you. So far, not as good as the other two as we've been playing, but at the same time, we're still just getting started. So, you know, we got a lot more to do. As long as I can get like all my imps to like level five or something a little higher than that. Like we did that for the party imp, we did that for the, the uh, little drake. Let's try to do it with the pylon imp, if not a little bit more. It would be nice to do more, but. <laughs> it looks like all we're doing today is playing a lot of Zambopolis, which is just super duper weird. Oh gosh, I almost got it there. Like if I, if I was a second too much late there, I would have gotten shuck shot to the face. Ooh, nice, nice. I really do like how the shared vanquish system works in God of War for two more than it does God of War for one. I mean, honestly, that's still an argument for a lot of people. Like, and it's just sort of on my brain because I've been playing a lot of God of War for one. Some people do argue that God of War for one is a better game than God of War for two. And I can sort of understand that. You know, God of War for two is a lot of fun and I think it's better personally, but God of War for one is a lot of fun too. And it's a lot more of a pure game at this point. And you know, if you know what I'm saying, like there's just so much to God of War for two that it can get rather complex at times if you're a new player. So like maybe if you're newer to the game or if you just enjoy more of a simple kind of game, like you might like God of War for one more. I mean, like there's not a problem with that either which way. As long as you're playing games that you're having fun playing. <laughs> That's my only pet peeve. When people spend their time complaining about things when they could be out in the world having fun. You know, it's like, why spend your time huffing and puffing about things you don't like when you could be cheering and having the time of your life doing things you do like? Don't be that guy or girl or something in between. I don't know. That's up to you. But I'm going to go over here and revive this engineer. Uh, nope. Never mind. New plan. New action. Is there a teleporter up here? Can I get up here myself first? Okay, okay, you're gonna probably try to hop over me, or not. Well, I predicted wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go, see there's a level five. Not a problem. We are definitely top anguisher by a wide margin right now, which is great. I wanna spawn in this mech, but not quite yet. Ooh, there's some easy damage. But I think we might be able to get an assist there. But now's a good time. Can we even call it in under here? We can. Typically, it won't let you call it in when you're indoors or like under something, but I guess that archway is just big enough that it allows us to. 
Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on, can we get you? Can we get you? Yeah, all right then. So let's, oh, you don't see me. You're trying to spawn stuff in, so you didn't see me there. Oh, but I still got got. Not good. <laughs> That's where I'm used to Overwatch, and Overwatch, when D.Va gets vanquished, she uh, still hops out of her mech no matter what. That doesn't happen for the imp, I gotta remember that. It's weird. Like, I've been trying to play, you know, a little bit of everything, but just been my pile of things to do, and, you know, like, stuff to accomplish for videos has just been so large recently. It's been pretty insane. But I feel like I've been doing better this last week. Like, I've been super proud with the fact that, you know, I've gotten, like, I'll, I'll enlighten you guys on how my recording and uploading schedule works. Usually the plan, and I know most of you to be like, well, that hasn't worked out for you very well, but the plan is typically three videos a day on my main channel, Zebra Gamer, and then one video a day on my bonus channel, Zebra Bonus. Now, for a while, it hasn't been that way. Back in, like, October, it was like that, and the channels, both of them did really, really well. But, uh, that's usually, that's you know, that's always my plan right now, is just to do three videos a day on the main channel, two, one on the bonus. And that's four videos a day, which, you know, at first that doesn't sound like too much, but it really starts to stack up as a workload. But whenever I do do that, you know, you guys, the Zebra Herd, are usually the most happy, I'm getting more subscribers than ever, I'm getting, you know, more positive comments than ever when I post that much. So that's always my focus, is to get that done and to make sure there's good variety within all of that. But there's only, you know, 24 hours in a day, so I have like a very strict schedule on how I get videos recorded. How it currently works is I have six working days and then one day Sunday, which is sort of like if I have time to work, I work. If I don't have time to work, then I uh, just, you know, do whatever chores or other responsibilities I might have usually happen on Sundays. So that means on Monday through Saturday, I have work. So basically what I do is that every Monday, Wednesday, and Monday, Wednesday, and th Friday, yeah, are all my editing days. So those are the days where I sit down and I do any kind of production, either it be editing or making thumbnails or rendering the videos or anything behind the scenes that you typically don't see. That's what happens on mon Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then, Recording days are Tuesday, Thursday, and yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sorry, I'm getting it mixed up. I'm like, what day is it? I'm getting my own schedule mixed up. It's so easy when I have it right in front of my face. It's just not right in front of my face right now, so I'm trying to play and think about this stuff, but <laughs> oh, okay, we won. Good. Okay, so like I said, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are my recording days. If you know why, it's Tuesdays are most times games release, and Thursdays is when Garden Warfare 2 typically updates, so I make sure that those days are available for me to record. But I'll explain more of it in the next round. So we'll play some Skywag Imp. I'm not really in the mood to play Skywag Imp, so I might just end up doing badly. Whatever, you know, we're having some fun. That's all that matters. And this hat is cool, but. <laughs> So I, I've, I'm just explaining my schedule because a lot of people will ask me like, hey Zebra, when do you record so that we can try to join in with you? There's not really a specific answer of when I'm recording Garden Warfare 2 and when I'm recording another game because it really just depends on that day specifically. It changes all the time. But like I said, the goal is to record every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Now, to do some quick math for you, if I wanna post four videos a day and I only have three days to record, I have to record an average of nine videos per recording day. Because, of course, if I want to record four videos a day, and there's seven days in a week, that's 28. 28 divided by three is a little more than nine. It's, you know, nine in a whole bunch of decimal places. So, you get the idea. Can we get you real quick or not? Here, let's start breakdancing on you, because I, I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm gonna breakdance, and it's gonna happen that way, and I'm gonna, okay, I got the vanquish, but it was a shared vanquish, so I didn't get my wonderful stuff I wanted. Oh well, we'll back up this way. Got you a little bit. I'm just trying to see who I can sneak up on, but we got our mech already, so maybe we'll just cop out with that. Come on, no, 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 yes! Okay, good stuff, good stuff. I really shouldn't be so far ahead as I am, but I am, so you know what? That's just how it's happening right now. Ooh, you know what, that might be good. Ooh, I actually got a vanquish with that, that's pretty good. Let's try to deal with who we can here. This is just, like, I feel like this is a very silly place to be. This Rose is just chilling here, so I'll take care of you a little bit. This is definitely more of a, offensive mech than a defensive one, if you ask me. Just being able to jump onto a point, pressing R1 and destroying all the plant pots, it seems like more of an offensive move to me than trying to, you know, push them back. So, I mean, it can work defensively. It's just more offensively useful. But yeah, that's why I have to record about nine videos a day to keep up, you know, throughout the week to make sure that there's four videos going out every single day. So that's a lot of recording, if you don't know. 
If everybody is about half an hour long, try to talk nonstop for about four and a half to five hours. <laughs> Luckily, since I'm doing it so often, it's not too hard for me. But you can understand very quickly why making so many videos a day can be really, really tough. So like, you know, if your favorite series hasn't been posted for a little bit, do understand that I'm getting to it. It's just really hard to find the balance with everything. And then of course, editing a video probably takes, you know, like the whole process, and that's sort of another thing, right? <laughs> is that, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, editing a video, rendering it, uploading it, giving it titles, tags, and a thumbnail that makes it all look nice, that all takes longer than the video takes to record. You know, the recording the video, that's always the easiest part of making a video. You can ask any like filmmaker, shooting is the easiest part of filmmaking. Not to say it's easy, but it's the easiest process. It's also the most fun for most people. I don't know, that's up to you, that's your preference. But I'm gonna go ahead and attack you. Don't attack me back, please, thank you. I'm just trying to zigzag, trying to zigzag, trying to zigzag, no, you're so close, come on. Metal pedal is too much health. Nerf, please. She's perfectly fine the way she is. We almost have our mech in, which is great. Let's see if we can't prevent them from taking this point. That would be good because I would not want to push this game for too long just because I want to be able to play some of the other imps again. I really want to play Shrimpin, but I haven't maxed out. <laughs> That's sort of the shame of it, right? It would be cool if at some point or another, they change it so that if you play a maxed out character, maybe instead of getting you know experience, you get like a little bit of a coin boost, because after you max out a character, it's just like, it's not really worth it, you know, money-wise to keep playing that character because you're not gonna get that promotion. So it would be really cool if they make it so that you just earn slightly more coins when a character is max promoted. Like, I think that would be a really positive change. Okay, these guys are a pain in the booty right now. I am going to attack you as much as I can, but that's not working, that's not working. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I am so dead. I wasted this mech. Oh, come on, I. you see how long I was pressing triangle there for it? <laughs> All right, I'll make sure everybody's muted because I accidentally unmuted them there. But you get what I mean. That's why, you know, video making can be tough. If you've made videos before, I'm sure you sort of agree with me in some way or another. But that being said, that's why, you know, sometimes things get delayed, sometimes things don't just work out the way they're supposed to. But this last week or so, I've been a little bit more on top of it. Things have been working out a little bit better. My big focus is to make sure that 2016 starts off right with a good schedule, which is why I'm trying to record videos ahead of time, as always. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got you a little bit, that's good. I really want to step up my game for 2017, just because of the fact that it's, it's a good thing to do. Hopefully it gets some of you guys more interested if I you know, try to post better videos than I ever have before. I definitely want to post some more tips and tricks videos for you guys, because I know a lot of new players are entering the game, and if I can post a few tips and tricks videos to help you guys out, I definitely want to be able to. So they did end up taking that point, which stinks, but you know what, it happens. I am not playing good with this. It's just like, it's not the best area to be up close and personal as we've seen as we bite the dust almost every single time, but that's the way you play Scallywag again. I think he's just a better imp for close quarters maps like, you know, stuff on Team Vanquish and et cetera. So I might have to switch back to another one for me to enjoy myself, but I do think this hat sort of mixes as well with his color scheme, with the stripes and the overalls. It just sort of has that red and blue already and a little bit of yellow, so, you know, it works out pretty well. I do think if anything, he's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and try to beat you up. I haven't gotten Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho one time now. I wanna change that up a little bit if I can manage. Who's still shooting at me? You are. No, 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 no. Dang it. <laughs> we'll give it one more full shot. <laughs> Look at this, the sunflower's hat is broken. That's just weird. The poor sunflower, take better care of yourself. But, uh. We'll try one more time to get Yo Ho Ho mode. And then if not, I might just move on to another imp or back to like Little Drake or something. Cause if I could get like close to a level 10 with those characters, that'd be really great for me. Ooh, can I help out with you? No, no, no. I'm already like halfway down. This stinks. No, no, no. Okay, you're, you're on my team. That's good. Gotcha. Hello, pea shooter. Oh man, how did I not get you there? It was like a lot of damage out not to get the vanquish. Okay, playing a different imp now. Get tired of this one. I like Skywag Gift. It's just I know I could be playing one of the other imps and still be having a good time. So I'm going back to Little Drake. Just because he's fun, he's cool. Let's get in the level six. He's close enough, right? What are you shooting at? I have no clue. You guys are just hanging out. And if if you know that that's what you want to do, then that's what you do. 
I'm gonna get up here now. Let's see. Ooh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay, then there's a Vanquish, it counts. I'm glad that shared Vanquishes at least count for the legendary hat animation. And this one, like, you know, when action is going on, the sound, like, you can't even hear the music, which you'd think might be a bad thing, but honestly, I think it's sort of a good thing. Because I will be honest, some of the legendary hats have annoying sounds that, like, it's interesting the first time you hear it, but then the next eight more times, in the, you know, like, in, like, a few minutes, it gets really annoying. Like, I think the biggest culprit of that one is probably the Super Brilliant Legendary Hat. It's just, like, that meow every single time gets a little bit overbearing, I will not deny. Can I just wait here until my mech is ready? Please, come on mech, come on. Oh, the, the teleport is right over there, so maybe I should go around the left instead of the right, but hey, I'm ready to go now. They're taking that, that point. I'm gonna take them. Ready, set, charge! There's a pea shooter over here. Oh yeah, damage up. Yeah, get over here, get over here. What do you think you're doing? I thought so, did he shoot at Chili Bean? I don't see any, so I'm gonna guess no. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, <laughs> how are you? I can shoot past the wall, buddy. Gotcha. Don't know where he was trying to run to, but he wasn't able to get there. Okay, we're almost at level six. I believe we can do it. I believe we can charge him. Yeah, okay, I charged somebody. As long as it's somebody. Okay, do our R1 flip thing, because I don't know what that does. I think the R1 flip, really dodges damage more than it does damage, you know? Ooh, let's try to get some people exploded. I got rid of the the plant, the imp, not the imp, <laughs> the, uh, the weed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right, this is pretty good. Why well, couldn't have gotten this with the scallywag? Time seven vanquish, that would have been nice. Chances are pretty decent. I would have ended up getting some kind of yo-ho-ho -ho going on. Oh boy. There you go, the fire damage got him. That's why I can't do it with the scallywag, because there's this moment frozen in time. What is going on here? We got like a Matrix moment going on. That's really weird. That could make for a cool Super Mix Mode event. Imagine that. Imagine if there was like a red light, green light kind of mode for Super Mix Mode. That would be really interesting. I mean, that, that, I don't know how that would work in a way that's actually fun and you know balanced, but something like that would be interesting. What if it was like that? Like there was a Super Mix Mode where every minute the game would freeze and like, or maybe not every minute, maybe like every 30 seconds. That way it's like, I'm about to vanquish this Colonel Corn, but he's about to vanquish me. So we're both sitting there trying to plot out what we're gonna do once it unfreezes in like five seconds. Like that would make for a really interesting game most of the time, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy and that's the dumbest idea of all time. But maybe one day we'll know. Maybe one day they'll be like, hey Zebra, we're gonna try that idea, thanks. And I'll be like, yay. But for right now, they're just trying to take this point. That's all they're worried about, so I'm worried about stopping them and doing that. Luckily, these guys are just sort of chilling out over here, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Can you get out of here, sir? Oh, I almost got you. Jeez, this is a little much. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm a goat. I'm just, <laughs> just charged it to the scientists there. I just wanted to give the scientists a big hug before I pieced down, and they weren't able to take it. Close, so close. So here's one last look with every single imp with the epic disco bot legendary hat. I like it quite a lot. I think it's a pretty cool looking hat. I like its effect, especially when we're in the disco area of Zimbopolis. But I had a good time playing some of the imps and leveling them up because I really, really need to do that. But you can feel free to let me know your thoughts on the epic disco bot legendary hat. And if you have it in the comments section below, also let me know what legendary hat you would like me to show off next because I really like doing this. It's a fun way to replay the characters that I like to play. And of course we can show off a really awesome hat while doing so. So I got a lot more of these down the pipeline if you're interested in seeing it. But for right now, that is going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Disco Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But by the way, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.